it's a gambling with what's good for himself or herself. So looking at the NGCDF, we get that uh, the, these members of parliament are getting pressure from the people who elected them to occupy those offices. Yes. They need the CDF. They need the money for the school fees. They need the renovation for the roads. Renovations for class, classrooms. Back at home. Or back to the constituencies. So they won't be focusing on, um, on matters to do with IBC where the only people yes. are suffering. And also on the other note, you note that uh, there are some other areas, wards and the constituencies, yes. which are represented. The members of parliament are uh, maybe they're no longer. So when you look at that, they are also still championing that how can you get other constituencies to be represented? Yes. These other wards where the, we have the members of parliament or the MCS passed, how can also those people get the representation? Yes. So, but at the moment, the big thing is that how are our people going to survive to take their kids to school to ensure that even the suppliers or the contractors who did the school renovations have gotten the money? This that cash flow back in their constituencies because this CDF money, when it comes to the constituency, it does the renovations, pays for the school fees. This school fees pays the suppliers who supply the food. So there's that cash flow. So let's look on the other side, which they're still focusing on, mm -hmm. which I'm pro it, that uh, let's ensure that they get first the money and then we shall come to the IBC thing. Because if it's not legally done or conducted, then uh, it's not null and void. So let's uh, leave with that at that point. But now let's focus that they're ensuring that this money and yes. this medical report yes. has been legalized to ensure that there's at least cash flow. That's right. Yeah. Moanya will be coming yeah. to you. Uh, but Mudira, Sunday, uh, here's, here's the question.